Welcome to this video about the Andino CM4 I.O. board. The Andino CM4 I.O. board provides the possibility to adapt the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 to the same form factor as a standard Raspberry Pi. This allows it to be used with conventional Raspberry Pi housings and extension boards like the Andino X1 and Andino I.O. The CM4 I.O. board also provides several important connectivity features. It includes a gigabit Ethernet port, two USB 2.0 ports for data connectivity, and one micro USB port for flashing data to the ROM of the compute module. Furthermore, the compute module also has an internal USB header and a micro HDMI output. It also includes PCIe Gen 2 X1 pins that enable the connection of an SSD. The GPIO of the I.O. board are laid out in the exact same way as the GPIO of a Raspberry Pi. The I.O. board also makes installation and setup of the CM4 very convenient. The compute module can simply be clipped onto the I.O. board for installation. To flash the firmware to the internal storage of the CM4, first download the installer for the drivers and complete the installation wizard. Afterwards, run the installed program. If the program doesn't show up automatically in your start menu, run rpyboot.exe located at c slash program files x86 slash raspberry pi. On the I.O. board, set the jumpers rpi boot and global en. This will keep the compute module from booting and allows us to start flashing the OS. Then connect the compute module to your PC using a micro USB cable and power it by either providing power to the GPIO pins 2 and 6 or by plugging the I.O. board directly into one of our Andino boards. Afterwards, the internal storage of the compute module should be visible after a few seconds. The firmware can now be flashed onto the compute module, the same way a normal Raspberry Pi SD card would also be flashed. This can be done, for example, using Win32 Disk Imager. Once the installation is complete, disconnect the USB cable and power connection from the I.O. board. Then change the jumpers on the I.O. board to only have global EN set. All other jumpers should be unset. The initial installation of the compute module should now be complete. After the first boot, USB is disabled by default. This can be changed by editing the boot config txt. Here jump to the end of the file and add the following line. Then save and quit. After having edited the file, reboot the Raspberry Pi. All inputs of the I.O. board should now be enabled. If you want to use the board in conjunction with the Andino X1 or Andino I.O., the same setup process as for the normal Raspberry Pi has to be followed. Links to this, as well as further resources concerning the compute module, can be found in the video description.